Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to reduce repetition using the repeat function. When you use grid template columns, the grid template rows, uh, when you use grid template columns and grid template rows to define the structure of a grid, you entered a value for each row or column you created. Let's say you want a grid with 100 rows of the same height. It isn't very practical to insert 100 values individually. Fortunately, there's a better way by using the repeat function to specify the number of times you want your column or row to be repeated, followed, followed by a comma and then the value you want to repeat. Here's an example that would create a 100 row grid, each row at 50 pixels tall. Grid template rows, and then you say repeat 100 at 50 pixels. Grid template rows. Okay, so you repeat 100 times with 50 pixels. Okay, so we, grid template rows, you set to repeat. You want 100 rows at 50 pixels. You can also repeat multiple values with the repeat function and insert the function amongst other values when defining a grid structure. Here's what that looks like. We have grid template columns and we want to repeat two times at one fraction with 50 pixels at 20 pixels each. Hmm. Okay, that translates to one grid template columns, one fraction, 50 pixels, one fraction, 50 pixels, 20 pixels. Got it, so it just did this twice. One, it doubles this, and then we've got the 20 pixels to wrap it up. The one FR 50 pixels is repeated twice followed by 20 pixels, okay. So yeah, I hope that that makes sense. They're basically just saying that you can use the repeat function to make your CSS much smaller. So we use the repeat to remove repetition from the grid template columns. Okay, so yeah, here we've got um, our grid template columns, and we just want to repeat three times with one fraction. So repeat. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write it under here. Grid template columns. And we want to say repeat uh, three times with one fraction. And that just lays out our three rows. One, two, three. And they're equally spaced apart. So yeah, I think this will pass. Great, awesome. So yeah, that was that. And they're basically just making it so that you could, I mean, if we wanted to do this uh, 50 times at one fraction, we'd have, this is, these are each 1 50th of the box. Um, let's say we were to do it five times, then we've got equally separated out five. If we do 10, this will take up half of the box. And so you can see that you can start using this repeat function to grow your application exponentially without having to type a bunch of the same stuff in. Anyways, hope this helps. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next lesson.